So I'm in my car, I'm about to install the MPC remote starter. Unfortunately, this is not plug and play, so I have to deal with all these, all these wires. It's gonna be nuts, it's gonna be crazy. They don't even give you instructions. You have to download or you have to enter a code and the instructions are on the web. So I'm gonna do my best. I need to get down here, I need to take off a couple panels. And uh, let's see if this works. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, so this is way too tight. I had to pull that harness up through this spot right here, right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, some of the, the tape back here to release uh, the wiring so I can access it a little better. This is the best I'm gonna get. It's a little bit better, but uh, still real tight. All right, so I have to attach, I have to attach this wire to this, this blue wire right back there. That's going to be rough. So I'm going to have to cut this tape back a little bit, expose that blue wire, and just splice it in back there. Okay, so that took me like 10 minutes to splice that little wire, open it up. And then I put the, the wire from the remote starter through the middle of some separated wires there. And then I went ahead and wrapped it around a whole bunch. I poked it through, wrapped it around, and now I'm going to now I'm gonna tape it back up. Alright, hopefully this gets easier, but that took a long, long, long time. But I got it. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's a... Uh... A wire I've got split open. I'm gonna thread a new wire through. All right, this is a real study on patience, I'll tell you. I, I, uh, took me like a half hour to do five or six wires here. Whew. So many things are at play too. You don't wanna, you don't wanna cut the, the housing or the, the wire covering too too much or else you'll cut the wire on the inside and then once you get it open you don't want to you don't want to cut the wires you know when you're opening it up so you got to like let the pressure off a little bit yeah there's a lot going on here I'm glad this this part's done all right so that's done I'm gonna I'm gonna actually tape all this stuff up clean it up pretty nice I'm gonna thread this back through the back and and um Get it right back in its original harness, which was uh, under this somewhere, right there, right there. All right, so there it is, somewhat cleaned up. Ooh, I don't wanna do that again. Okay, I've gone fully inverted for this last one. Not the last one, but for this one that I'm working on. I really need to get to that blue wire and it's it's next to impossible. There's just no play at all. All right, if you can believe it, I'm actually on the last wire. I did find a, a nut in here to ground. Didn't need to get ground, so I just, you know, while I was under there for the OBD, just looked over and I saw that there's a there's a there's a wire or there's metal underneath that plastic fitting and I just screwed that um that right on there it looks like I have to clean it up a little bit but was not interested at the time because I was hanging upside down this is the very last one this is the ignition wire this yellow needs to go to that yellow then I'm going to be in good shape and then we're going to just program it one looks a little bit thicker than the ones I've been dealing with so all right that's the ignition wire last one
Nice. Here we go. Okay, now the moment of truth. I've got to uh, hold this button down, connect the wire, the black wire, and then wait until the LED turns blue. And then I have to release and then connect all the connections and then press the car ignition twice and then turn it off, I think. It's on blue. Connect the connections. Is that it? Feels like there should be more. All right. Start twice. One, two. Oh, there we go. There we go with the blinking. Yeah, my camera just turned off when I, I think my car took over my phone. So let's turn this off. Oh, 